everybody, and welcome to Marchant Chevrolet. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the first 2019 Chevy Silverado that we've had come in stock. It is currently today, the beginning of August 2018. Now this is a Z71 off-road package Silverado and also a 2500 series Silverado. We're gonna get in depth with it today here at Marchant Chevrolet, see what this truck is all about. It does come equipped with the Allison transmission and Duramax diesel motor. Stay tuned with us as we do our review here today at Marchant Chevrolet. So we know a lot of people have been waiting on the 2019 Silverado to finally come to the dealerships here in America. And finally, our dealership here in Ravenel, South Carolina, just 15 minutes outside of Charleston, South Carolina, this one showed up just a few days ago. It is absolutely a beautiful truck, and again, a 2019. Now, it's not the new body style that everybody is raving about on your 1500 series Silverado. Again, this is a 2500 series, but it is a 2019 truck, okay? We'll take a look under the hood. We'll look at the trunk, the interior, and about everything we can today while we have time this afternoon. We got about an hour before the dealership closes, which is the perfect time to film. The sun's coming down, and it really has gotten this truck looking good. The sun is shining on it just right. So the 2019 Silverado, the grill on this particular 2500 series is very similar to your 1500 series, but absolutely gorgeous front grill, right? You got the black logo there. You're gonna notice some vinyl siding on the side of the truck or some vinyl stickers on it to give it that look of God bless America. It really is nice, isn't it? You have that big projector headlight, then you got the big fog lights down in the bottom bumper that make a bold statement when coming down the road. The 2500 series diesel is definitely the truck you may want to get the job done at the end of the day, that's for sure. Let's take a look at the side of this truck, right? It's got a nice stance to it. it. Sits up nice and high off the ground, doesn't it? I mean, look at that. It took a little bit for me to step up there. We definitely could use some side rails on the side to step in. But one thing Marchant Chevrolet does on every new truck is they don't add any dealer add-ons like that until you decide if you want to get those purchased or put on your truck at the time of sale. So, anyways, let's keep moving around looking. Big hood, you got your inductions in the front. You got your Allison transmission, your Duramax logo, which is pretty standard on most Duramax engines on these trucks. They're gonna put that logo right on the hood. But I'm really liking this pretty big size Z71 off-road logo there. Definitely makes a bold statement. And then those stars that just rip through in those lines. Now the vinyl, okay, this is vinyl, is silver, just like the same color truck, which I kind of like because it's, it's got a really nice contrast going on here where it kind of blends in. You can't even tell it's there until you get up on it and you're like, ooh. That's cool. Kind of like ghost flames they used to do on the classic muscle cars. Now the wheels, you got 20 inch alloy wheels. They're definitely big. A good looking spokes though on there and that big chrome center cap. Good looking tires with BF, or no, actually those are Goodyear tires. If you got rocks and tires, you know you got tread. These are brand spanking new. So new tires, it's a brand new truck. Also got your LED lighting right here. Those mirrors can be folded in. You got the chrome, so that's looking good. We're gonna to get to the price here in just a moment, but let's keep walking through and take a look at the sides and then take a look at the rear of this truck. Wow, it definitely is big. Americans love big automobiles. Wow, it's just amazing, it's beautiful. Also has the LTZ package on it, tow package, diesel pipe coming out the back, you got backup sensors, backup camera. Again, the Chevy logo is also in black, just like on the front. From the manufacturer, you have your spray and bed liner already back here. This drops down nice and smoothly as you can see right there. So no hard close or hard drop to hit the ground. If you need to get in the back of the truck, you will step your foot here on either side of the back bumper to climb into the back. If you need to add a fifth wheel, you already have the spots there to get the hardware put in to get that truck or trailer out there and that fifth wheel going, okay? So not too bad. Let's go ahead and see how heavy this is. Hmm, not too heavy. So that's looking really good. The body looks great. I'm loving the, the way the stickers roll. Just gives it a nice look, doesn't it? It really, really does. 
Now back here, you'll notice on these mirrors, you're gonna have your traditional LED lights there that'll blink when you're trying to get over. But then you get two pretty bright LEDs there to shine at nighttime to see exactly what's going on. It definitely is a long truck. Look how long it is. Wow. That is big. It's a 2500 series. They also go up to 3500 series as well. And then the smaller one, the 15. Let's go ahead and take a look under the hood of this truck today at Marchant Chevrolet. All right, let's go ahead and get under the hood here and take a look at this beautiful diesel engine with Chevy. The latch is right here. Okay, so it's pretty easy access to get to that latch. This is gonna let some cool or hot air in to keep that engine flowing right. The hood is not really that heavy and it does have a nice setup here where you don't have to prop it up with a pole. Once you're under the hood of this engine, look at this. This is American craftsmanship in its finest under the GMC, which General Motors makes a Chevrolet. 6.6 .6 liter HD for heavy duty. Wow. That's a lot to be said for. Now you may be wondering right now, what is the horsepower on a truck like this? Well, here it is. And now here's the torque. That's pretty good. That's going to get the job done. Whether you got to get a boat out on the water, a trailer out on the road, or get a beautiful camper on the back to go travel the countryside of here of America, you can get it done with ease with a 2500 series truck. So let's talk about price for a minute, right? Because you're like, man, I like this truck a lot, right? But I know it's going to cost me some money. Well, it is going to cost you some money, Americans. Let me tell you why. Because it is a craftsmanship of Chevrolets. It's really heavy duty. It's strong. It's going to get the job done. But it's got all the features and bells and whistles that you would want on a truck. It's an LTZ. Let's go ahead and take a look. So you can't really see the sticker over here, the Moroni label, because the windows are tinted. But I will tell you what the price, the MSRP is on this truck. 52000 500. That's right, 52,500. Now, once all these extra options, that's your baseline, 52,500. Once all the extras, the options, the motor, everything this truck has, this truck, wait until I tell you, bumps up to over $70,200, okay? So $70,200 right around there. Now, here's what Marchant Chevrolet does, and they've been doing this for 20 plus years, and at least since I've been out here since 2011. Okay, they put this sticker on here. Let's get a little close up shot. $70,250, $98 over factory invoice puts you at $66,690.16. So we're taking it, making it easy for you, okay? The price is right here on the window. If there's any added options, if there was, which I've never seen any on one, they'd be right there. Any rebates or incentives, it'd be right here, and then you'd have your total price. But right now, we're selling it for 98 over invoice, so that's 66, 690, 16. Also remember, no deal or admin fees, no dock fees, no processing fees, or any of that stuff. No deal or add-ons, no unnecessary rust-proofing, paint sealants, first place finishes on the wax, none of that stuff. No aspirin needed at all. Just make sure, folks, okay? When you go to another store, Ask them if it's got all that stuff on there. Those dealer admin fees and those processing fees that cost three, four, five, six hundred dollars. Then you'll come over to Marchant Chevy and buy with ease. I promise you that. Now let's go ahead and hop in on the inside and see what we got going on. Before we go on the inside, let's just take a quick look in the gas cap. Just regular diesel, okay? Now your Fords are going to have an add blue spot in there, but for some reason Chevy doesn't have to have that. So it's just diesel fuel right there, okay? Also, your gas cap is on the driver's side of the truck. There is a spare, if you look back there, it's right up underneath, just like most Chevy Silverado trucks, okay? Anyways, you got to see that. It is a 2019, I don't know if you can see it, but it says 2019 Silverado 2500 four-wheel drive LTZ crew cab. Not bad, it's got a six-speed automatic transmission. Door panel here, and I'm gonna tell y'all right off the get-go, not a whole lot of differences on the interior of this truck compared to a 2018. So let's just get that right out of the way. No major differences. Not that I can see right now. If you know which one it is, if there's a major difference, other than the year, 
then let me know. So you do got memory seats, you got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, you got Bose stereo system, cubby hole spots, cubby hole, cubby hole, power seat, power lumbar, leather, premium leather at that, very comfortable with gray stitching and perforated leather seats because you got the cool air coming out right now and in the winter time you can have them heated, okay? So heated and cooled seats, very nice. All season rubber mats, already got some rocks down there which makes it look a little more truckish. You got a leather wrapped steering wheel, cruise control, audio functions, voice command, all that good stuff. A heated steering wheel as well. They also have a soft touch on your dash with stitching and a little bit of leather or vinyl right up on here, okay? You got an LCD screen going right through there. Your tachometer on the left, your speedometer on the right. You got battery, fuel, and all that stuff, and oil pressure and water all up on the top there. Then once you get inside the cabin here, you'll notice you got your big old navigation screen that's probably about eight inches in diameter. It's huge. Tells you the temperature outside, which right now says 105. Holy mackerel, it's hot. Backup camera also goes through there and all the great features that you would want. Hit the home button. As you can see, it is touch screen. We can move things around just like that. Add your phone book in here out of your phone. Weather, settings, text, OnStar, all that stuff. It's nice. Radio controls here. The climate controls here, it is dual climate control, and then heated and cooled seating. Then you got some buttons here to cut those back lights on out there, traction control. You can move the pedal on the floor. See what I'm talking about? See that pedal moving down there? It's a little tough to see, but those pedals are moving to come out or in. You have two USBs, 12 volt, 12 volt, and then a regular power outlet like in your house. So a lot of nice features in here. Plenty of cubby hole space here. It goes down nice and deep. Cup holders, you can actually move the, well, you used to be able to, but I don't know. Maybe you were able to move those around. I'm not sure. Center armrest, nice and big. Got a little sweat on there because it's hot outside. It's 105. You got your new charging port here for those newer smartphones. That's been around for quite some time now. Open this up. Plenty of storage in there. Two more USBs and an auxiliary. And nice and deep, okay? Not bad. On the other side over here, you got two glove boxes, one you can lock and one that doesn't lock. OnStar on your mirror, sunglass holders up top, LED lighting right up here as well. Home link for garage door openers and controls for the sunroof up top. Now this 2019-2500 series, they haven't, even on the LTZ, they have not added in a pano roof up top. So there is a few things out there that may be coming on your new 2019 Silverado 1500 series. I don't know if a panel roof's coming yet for front and back, but there is gonna be some major upgrades on that 1500. But today we're looking at 2500 series. Let's take a look in the back and see what we got going on. So of course, a lot of room in the back of the 2500 series. A lot of headroom, as you can see how that top right there cuts out. You got more lights, big seats, spots to throw tablets and iPads or maps or blueprints or whatever you need. You got your rubber mats back here. And again, a lot of leg room. Why is that there? You do have storage here, a little storage there, and a 12 volt outlet here. There is no rear air in the back of the truck. So your air that's blowing on you if you're sitting in the back is provided from the front. And I can tell you, I can feel the air even where my head's at right now blowing on me. So that is nice. Other than that, it is a very roomy rear seating area for back passengers. You can take this, do that, cup holders there, Back window does open and close. There's handles up top, all that good stuff. So that's the back. So everybody, come on down and see us at Marchant Chevrolet. We got a great selection of trucks on ground. We'd love to sell you one. We're good old folks out here in Ravenel, 15 minutes away from Charleston, South Carolina. I hope you enjoyed watching the review today on Marchant Chevrolet's website, Facebook, YouTube or wherever you're watching from. I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch with us. All I can ask is y'all to please give us a call or stop by our store and take a test drive. You'll really see the difference in Marchant Chevrolet and the way they do business and selling trucks and cars compared to the other dealers around town. We appreciate your time again. Thank you. If you could hit that like button on YouTube or Facebook and subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, we really would appreciate it. Have a blessed day and thank you again from Marchant Chevrolet. We'll see you then.